I still don't understand what is wrong with the quantitative easing. You don't think there is anything wrong with the Federal Reserve printing money? Do you understand that is what quantitative easing is? I watched Ben Bernanke on 60 Minutes. He said clearly he is not printing money. He is trying to help us by keeping interest rates down. And do you know how that has worked so far? It hasn't worked at all. Interest rates across the board have gone higher. Ben Bernanke says he is in control. Who are you to say he is not? In addition, my econ professor says imbalances are normal and that this period is similar to the 1970s. The imbalances will work their way out of the system. I'm sure your econ professor has a model that tells him exactly what will happen. In fact, he does. He says everything will be fine. He also says people need to quit being so doom and gloom. I'm sure your econ professor has run his computer model. Can you ask him what effect quantitative easing will have on his model? I'm sure a few trillion here and there has little consequence. You were right. My econ professor says countries don't have to worry about debt the same way people do, because it will never be paid back, it just passes down generations, no one has to pay it. Some people think these policies will be inflationary, perhaps hyperinflationary. Think Zimbabwe, Argentina, Mexico. Certainly your professor has done some research on the subject of hyperinflation. I'm not sure really. Besides, my econ professor's computer models would tell him if something were wrong. I am told his PhD makes him an expert in all things finance. I'm not getting anywhere here. People are beginning to chat about quantitative easing theory, new money to bail out bankrupt cities and states. Who told you a state or said he was bankrupt? I doubt it. The bond market is beginning to tell us this. What are you? The bond market whisper. The bond market whisper. I do know that bond prices are falling in spite of the Federal Reserve's efforts. Nothing magic about reading the papers or paying attention. If cities or states are bankrupt, of course they should be bailed out. We need to buy all their bonds. We don't want layoffs. Ben Bernanke is mandated to keep employment high. If buying municipal and state bonds helps, I'm all for it. Aren't you worried people will begin losing confidence in the system if everyone gets a bailout from newly printed money? It would be fairer if everyone got a bailout, rather than just the big Wall Street banks. It's about time Main Street got some help. This sounds like QE3 is for the people. Hooray. But what if investors holding our bonds don't like the policy and decide to sell? There is enough opposition around the world to quantitative easing that at some point we will upset everyone with this scheme. This seems like a game of confidence, and I don't want to be around when confidence is lost. Do you know what my econ professor says? No, I don't know. He says people who think the U.S. are going to lose their position of dominance in the world are crazy. He says the USA is number one. My econ professor's model says the US will be fine, and the world needs a strong United States. Does your econ professor have anything else to say? He says the US dollar will never go to 0.52 on the US dollar index. Is that all? No. My econ professor also says people should stop listening and reading that goddamn Jim Sinclair. Because he fills our heads with a different perspective, a different mindset if you will. People ought to listen to econ professors and think less for themselves. The average person that is doom and gloom has no clue what's happening in the world. Everything is fine. The Federal Reserve has and will always save the day. Ben Bernanke is a hero. I wonder what your econ professor has to say about owning gold. I can answer that one. Gold is in a bubble and may even be the ultimate bubble. Why would you want to own the ultimate bubble? Don't you watch CNBC? The safe bet is and will always be bonds, U.S. Treasuries and municipal bonds. You said it yourself, with quantitative easing 3, there will always be a buyer for bonds in the Fed. Get your story straight. Bond prices will remain high. QE3 will create jobs. Ben Bernanke knows what he is doing and is in control. I'll stick to gold and precious metal shares.
while you are at it. Why don't you hide in a bunker and store some food while you wait for the end of days? Are you nuts? Gold is a relic. Gold pays you no income. Like I said, buy some bonds, and quit listening to that goddamn Jim Sinclair. If I quit listening to Jim Sinclair, I'd still have those goddamn Bill Murphy, Richard Russell, Doug Casey, Eric Sprott, and John Embry. These guys have been around, you know. Well, I'm sure they don't have a PhD. I'll stick with my econ professor. He reads lots of books and current trade papers. Good luck with your gold. Good luck with your quantitative easing and your bonds.